Today I'm going to show you how to download and install the game Fortnite on your Android phone. <laughs> Who needs the Google Play Store? Hey, but before we jump in, take a moment and subscribe to our channel. And um, speaking of our channel, we have a little announcement. We're actually going to take a hiatus in December, so no new videos. Um, it's not just for the holidays. In fact, we're working on some really cool things that we can't wait to share with you. It'll be next year. So you have something to look forward to after the holidays. You have an Android phone, maybe it's a Galaxy S10, maybe it's a Google Pixel 4, and you want to play Fortnite. But when you go to the Google Play Store, the game is nowhere to be found. Fear not, my Android gaming friends, I'm here to help. <laughs> so, Epic, the company that makes Fortnite, offers the game on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, PC, Mac, and the iPhone. But the reason it's not on the Google Play Store is that Google takes a 30% cut of all in-app purchases. Now I know before you comment, Apple does the exact same thing on its app store. A couple years ago, Epic's CEO Tim Sweeney said, on open platforms like PC, Mac, and Android, Epic's goal is to bring its games directly to customers. We believe gamers will benefit from the competition among software sources on Android. Well that and they don't have to pay 30% to Google. Am I right? So, Epic came up with a clever way to install the game on Android phones. You sideload it. If you're not familiar with sideloading, it's anytime you install an app on your phone from a source other than the official app store, in this case, the Google Play Store. So, the downside is you have to reduce the security on your phone, which might make it vulnerable to malware and viruses. Hey, but it's Fortnite. But it's Fortnite. It's worth it, right? <laughs> so here's how you do it. Step one, install the APK file. So once you determine if your phone is compatible, okay, actually, uh, hang on, that, we should talk about that. Pro tip. All right, first thing you wanna do is go to Epic's website and there is a list of supported Android devices. Now, it's a bit out of date, so go into the FAQ section for a slightly more up-to-date list. Now, if you don't see your phone there, you still might be able to do Fortnite. Here's what you need. You need Android 8.0 or newer, three gigabytes of RAM, and the ability to run 64-bit apps, which most modern phones can do. Oh, um, and you also need one of the following GPUs, an Adreno 530 or newer, a Mali G71 MP20, or a Mali G72 MP12 or higher. <laughs> tip. Back to step one. So, first thing you want to do is download the Epic Games app APK file. Okay, uh, actually it's a little more complicated than that, so pro tip. There are several different ways to install the Epic Games app APK file. If you're on a Samsung phone, go to the Galaxy Store app and download it there. If you're on a newer Sony Xperia phone, there should be an icon on the home screen to install it. Otherwise, search for Fortnite Android and go to Epic's website. Click or tap on the yellow download button and follow the prompts. Oh, by the way, if you're on a Mac or PC, you can go to Epic's Android page and use a QR code in your phone and it'll take you right to that APK file. Pro tip. All right, back to step one. So what we wanna do is download the Epic Games app APK file. Now. When you do so, there will be a warning that pops up asking you to approve the download. Approve it. Step two, open the file. What we do next is open the APK file. We find it in the downloads folder from your browser. In this case, I had Chrome, so I go to Chrome Downloads. Step three, update your browser settings. When you try to open up the APK file, you'll be prompted to update your browser settings to allow your APK file to open you'll see a window that says install unknown apps allow from the source and next to it a button. Click to enable that button. Step four, approve Epic Games download. Next you'll see a pop-up window asking you to approve the Epic Games app download. It'll read, do you want to install this application? It does not require special access. Step five, install Fortnite. Next, open the Epic Games app and tap on Fortnite. Step six, install Fortnite. Next, you'll either have the option to install the Fortnite app or be told that your device isn't compatible. Step seven, install Fortnite. Yeah, again, 
Next, you'll tap the yellow install button and a pop-up window will appear informing you that the game will take up room on your device. Step eight, allow access. Next, you'll be prompted to allow Epic access to your device's photos, media, and files. Step nine, install Fortnite. Next, the Fortnite app will install on your phone. This will take a couple minutes. Step 10, allow from source. After the initial install of Fortnite's complete, another security one is going to pop up. You have to enable access for Epic Games to your phone to install Fortnite. Step 11, install Fortnite. Wait, I thought I already did that. No, you didn't. Next, believe it or not, a window will appear prompting you to install Fortnite. Step 12, enable access. So again, we just have to make sure we give access to Fortnite for storage, contacts, because it's gonna look for your squad, and it wants to use your microphone so you can talk to your squad. Oh, uh, and also if you're running a newer version of Android, like I have a Pixel 4 that's running Android 10, a pop-up window might appear, letting you know that Fortnite was designed for an older version of Android. Step 13, epic login. Step 14, finally, finally, you'll be asked to install the rest of the game, which is a 5.63 gigabyte download. Depending on the speed of your Wi-Fi, the download will take anywhere from a couple minutes to half an hour, which is just the right amount of time to watch an episode of 1982's show, Police Squad, exclamation point, starring Leslie Nielsen as Detective Frank Drebin, who bumbles his way solving caper after caper and case after case. The show is filled head to toe with sight gags and, what, it's done? So that's our video today. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, and if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut.